Okay, hello everybody. My name is Samantha Rose. For those of you who do not know me, nice to meet you. Uh, today we are going to talk about identifying and attracting your ideal avatar, but I'm also going to give you some really, really intentional questions that you can ask yourself, questions to really start getting your wheels in your brain turning. We're going to manifest a little bit today. We're going to really draw in and magnetize new conversations as well as create this really, really high awareness for the people that we are looking to align with. This is one of my most favorite topics. Ooh, Costa Rica. I just saw Costa Rica and got excited. Yes. Costa Rica looks, oh, it's beautiful. Okay. So, um, Let's let's talk about it. Right now, we have so many exciting things going on with the promos that the company is throwing out, the recruiting roundtable, uh, and I have personally been focusing on really aligning with people to go into business with and who share the same love that I do and the same passion, and maybe it's just in different ways. Right. So through this conversation that we're going to have today, we are going to talk a lot about awareness, identifying, magnetizing and manifesting the people that we want to work with, as well as the action steps needed to make that happen uh, and just really create some awarenesses. So I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I would love to see where you guys are from. I'm opening up the chat now because I was looking at the uh, list of people who are here. Oh, I, I just got an Alexa and it almost talks too much. I think I need to change the settings. It's like, tells me things all day long. It's too much, too much. Um, so let's, let's dive in. All right. So first things first is I want you guys to get out a piece of paper and pen. If you don't already have one or pull out a note on your, on your computer, and um, I want you guys to jot notes because we're going to do a lot of brain dumping. And I want you guys to remember these things, not just create the temporary awareness right now, but I want you to really live in it. And when you write things down, it, it solidifies things so much more and it creates, uh, it makes it real, but it also does something for the programming in your brain. So we want to make sure that we're really uh, ingraining this into our brains as we manifest and magnetize. So identifying what your role is in this is really important. And I actually heard this on a training with somebody else, but uh, it was Jarek Robbins, Jarek Robbins. Uh, he said that our job is to be a guide. Our job is to shine a flashlight and show people where they want to go. Kind of like a Sherpa right? Like my friend, she is climbing the seven summits. Her name is Grace. She's amazing. And she has these Sherpas that she hires to guide her along the way. Like she's doing the work, but like, if she didn't have the Sherpa, I think it's called a Sherpa. I hope it is. If not, I'm going to sound funny. Yeah. Sherpa Liz is like, yes, it's a Sherpa. So think of yourself as that guide, right? Maybe you're not a Sherpa. Maybe you're identifying yourself as some other guide that you're envisioning. But if you close your eyes and you see yourself, like your role with taking people on this journey with you is to shine the flashlight and show them where they need to go. Okay. Can you help them learn things, learn about things, identify things that maybe they haven't realized before, right? They're still taking the action, but you're just helping them and creating the awareness. Can you help them discover that, they have more in them that they ever imagined possible. Because when you show someone the way, it takes a lot of the thinking and overthinking out of the way. If you're really, really working with someone and locking arms with them, regardless in what aspect of life this is. So uh, people don't always get things the first time that you show it to them. Um, and I just think that this is a really important awareness to have as we're going into this conversation, because when you're working with people, uh, you don't always, they don't always want the same things that you want and that's okay. They don't always want to build this the same way that you want to build it. And that's okay. Right. We will be identifying attributes and traits and qualities through this call, but it doesn't mean that if someone doesn't have all of these things, like you're not going to work with them or it's just not going to work out. Right. These are just awarenesses and things and identifiers to say, Oh, 
people have one or two of these things that I identified on that call the other day, this person, that's an indicator that this person might be good at this. And this is a person that I should have a conversation with. And this is a person I should explore with, right? Um, but can you show people as you're bringing them on board on this journey, can you show people the right habits that they need to gain the muscles like our DMOs, right? They, they want to, we need to show them what they need to do, whether they're a customer or a promoter, whether they're, you're helping them on their health journey or you're helping them on this promoter journey. Uh, you need to show them the habits that they need to gain in order to gain the muscles that they need to succeed in what it is that they're doing and what they want to do, right? So help them continue to practice those muscles, stay in the rhythm and encourage them and keep going. But that is, in my opinion, our job is to be the guide. And when I sunk into this awareness and I actually sat in and played that role, my activity and my thought process and my language shifted because I was able to let go of a lot of things, pressure and uh, maybe like some like OCD, like it has to be one way. Is, is anyone out there like super structured? And I'm like, it's this way. This is the way it goes, right? Like in the past, that was me. Drop one in the chat. If you're like, it only makes sense to me this one way. Maybe like you do everything in life like the same way. When people don't do those things the same way as you, sometimes it's like, well, I don't relate to you, right? Or whatever. But the thing is, we can relate to these people and we can still help and guide them along the way. There's no right or wrong with this. Something I commonly say when I'm talking to people about the opportunity is there's this isn't a cookie cutter thing. There's no right or wrong way. We have structure, we have guidance, we have trainings, we've got all different types of things for you to plug into, but there is no right or wrong way to do this. You get to create this how you want. And my goal is to help you identify how you want to create this. And then my job is to help you uh, shine the light on the path, but also create the path together and reverse engineer your goals, whatever they might be. Okay. So really that is an important awareness to have when you're going into this, like, okay, identifying and attracting my ideal avatar is knowing what role you're playing for these people. Okay. Um, identify their obstacles that you need to help them solve in order to close the gap from whatever is like where they are now to where they want to be. There's now and where they want to be. I have a training somewhere floating around. Uh, it's called PNS, Problem and Solution. Like our job is to help people solve problems if they want them to be solved, not just to throw people, throw solutions on people, but to offer it to them if that's what they're looking for. Okay. Now I am going to deep dive into defining what your audiences, defining your ideal audience, identifying uh, their challenges and making a list of what your ideal customer looks like. So get ready to start brainstorming and brain dumping. Um, a great question to ask yourself is what do you love talking about? Okay, start there. When you are sharing this on social media, or if you are sharing this in person, if you are at a workshop, if you are in one-on-one -on -one conversation, whatever that may be, a question to ask yourself is what do you love to talk about? Because you are the best person to talk about the things that you love, because that is like something you feel really comfortable with and confident in sharing. So uh, because you're going to have to get excited about creating content around the subject matter or talking about the subject matter a lot every single day, it's really, really easy to do if the subject matter sets your soul on fire. And if you love it and it doesn't matter what it is, there's no right or wrong again, but really stepping into, it could be one or two or three things, identifying the things that set your soul on fire that you love to talk about, uh, is going to be huge when it comes to attracting your ideal audience. This isn't just about ketones. Like we can't just talk about ketones and just talk about, you know, ketosis and bone broth and electrolytes. Like we can, that's awesome. People will come to us for that, but like there's more to us than just that. So I want to make sure that you guys know that there are things, it could be literally 
literally anything, literally anything. Like I talk a lot about yoga and I love mindset and I love like kids stuff. Like I share like kids crafts every now and then and like mom things and uh, situational relationships is like single mom things. I talk a lot about travel. I love travel. I love manifestation. I love those things like for myself, for my soul. Like I love gardening. If you guys have been following me at all, like you'll see, I have lots of gardening stuff when it's gardening season. I'm so excited. It's about to be gardening season. Drop a three in the chat if you're a gardener and you love gardening just as me, just as much as I do. I love plants and I love like growing my own food and my using my own herbs. And then I love sharing with people like the fact that I grew a freaking stevia plant and I turned it into oil. And then I like made soup out of my own vegetables. Like that is stuff I freaking love. I get excited to run inside and like film my food because one, I love to share it. But two, I know that I'm pouring into my social media and my attraction and my magnetism because I'm actually sharing with people the things that make me me there's no right or wrong nobody cares like we're not worried about I don't want to say nobody cares shift in language we're not we should not worry about like if people don't like it we're not serving anybody who's like I don't like anything they're talking about like if you don't like yoga you probably don't like following me if you don't well not don't like yoga that's a weird example if you don't like the things that I talk about you don't you probably wouldn't like following me and that's okay too like it doesn't mean you don't like me as a person it just means it doesn't like following you on as a Facebook person to follow so when it comes to attraction and magnetizing the things that you share the perception that you're creating for other people to look at is they're either going to be like oh I like that and then if they do, they're going to follow you. And that's one of your people, right? So uh, think about like, because you're going to have to be that, live in that, I want you guys to write these things down. And as I'm talking and you're getting these ideas, I want you to write it down because I want you to come back to lists that you have to remind yourself of like, oh, this is the things that I like. Like jot down five hobbies right now, jot down three or to five things that you love Actually, drop them in the comments too. As much as I want you guys to also write, I want you guys to drop it in the comments because I want you guys to see what other people are, are liking and loving too. I think it's really important for us to share these things and I'll read them out. Sushi, heck yeah. Oh my gosh, I've been making cucumber sushi lately on my Facebook. It's, it's pretty bomb. But drop in the comments the things that you love, the things that you're passionate about, the things that you share or want to share. Like it could be makeup. I know Cameron's big on sharing like hair things and like air, it could be air fryer things. She's also really good at sharing like Walmart finds and like Target finds, like Shein, Shein finds, like she's really good at that kind of stuff. So identify those things for yourself. Okay. Also, people, like I mentioned before, that, that training that I have on problem and solution, people buy our products or our services or join our team or want our mentorship in order to solve a problem and overcome a challenge, okay? And they want to get results and they always want, people want faster, easier, cheaper, whatever it may be. So like, if you need to drill a hole, you go buy a drill, if you need to lose weight, you focus on nutrition and supplementation and mindset and movement. If you have physical pain, maybe you buy some ibuprofen. I don't know. It's a problem solution mindset. So most likely like our products are going and our services, AKA us, our promotership, our, our promotership, us being promoters, our mentorship. That's what I was looking for. Our mentorship is solving a problem for people. It's a challenge. It's a hiccup. It's a, whatever it may be, a speed bump. We're here to help people with that. And remember like, uh, what's that dude's name? Ed Milet. He said, we're the best person to help the person that we once were. And I'll add something to that, something to that. Even if it means it was us yesterday or last week 
or last month. Every day we grow so we can help someone with something that we learned today or yesterday. We don't have to be like a 10 year rocket scientist in, in whatever subject matter we're talking about. Look at all these good things in the comments, by the way. Mindset, hiking, travel, fitness, self love journey, self development, co parenting, blended families, gut health. My huskies, oh, I had a husky. Books I'm reading, living in the country, being an empty nester, gardening. Ooh, that's good. Gardening, empty nesters, chicken, goats, cooking, animals, outdoors, scuba. I'm going to go get scuba certified this year. It's on my list of 100 wants. Uh, science. I love science too. Gardening. Oh my God, we should be best friends. We like all the same stuff. Animals, outdoor shopping, oh, thrift shopping. Okay. I go thrift shopping with my dad, so we could definitely be best friends. But I check off all those boxes. Decorating, RV travel. Okay. The, are these giving you guys ideas? Cooking. This is all stuff that you could talk about. All right. Ideas flowing. So most likely, or sorry. So think about, so take the time right now. Think about your ideal client. Think about all those things that I just said. Think about the things that you're writing down. Think about magnetizing all this in and identify, start writing down what specific problems or challenges and pain do they have that they need to solve with our ketones, with our community, with our business. You can even make like three lists there. Like I'm visualizing lists, lists, lists. Like there are so many solutions. Okay. We can, I wish I had my list because I actually did this and I should have pulled it up for you guys. Um, time freedom. We create time freedom. Like we give you more time in the day, more energy happiness, clarity, business training, leadership, self-growth training, family, community, friendships. That's like some of the things that I think of when I think of like our community, the opportunity at layered learning, high level speakers and educators, the opportunity to make an additional stream of income, the opportunity to work from anywhere in the world, the opportunity to not put clothes on in the morning if you don't want to, because you can work from your phone, like whatever you want, right? That's to me, these are solutions that people are looking for. So identifying and writing all these things down for like for yourself, what solutions can you provide? What solutions can prove it provide? And I would, I open, I open, I invite you guys to drop that in the chat as well. So I can read off um, for the people watching the replay and stuff just to get your wheels turning. Like there are so many things. Now think about the product, energy, focus, muscle preservation, digestion, quality of life, vitality, energy, cognitive function, blood sugar level balance, feel like a super human, get ketones for free. That's a, that's a solution, right? To a challenge that we might face purpose, have purpose, fulfill a passion, right? Give back, help people change the world. There's so many things that people are looking to do. And they're like, I just don't know where to do it. I would love to be a part of something, but I just don't know where to find those people. I would love to go to an event and hear from high level speakers, but I just don't know how to plug into that. Like, what about the people that are on Instagram that follow Ed Milet and Jay Shetty, but didn't realize that they can actually go to a Jay Shetty or Ed Milet leadership and growth event. Like, what about the people who like science and education? What about the people that like doctor stuff, the science nerds? Like we have a Keto Academy coming up. That's a solution, right? Keto Academy is a solution for so many people who are interested in that stuff. It might not even be a problem. It might just be a desire. What are some desires that we can fulfill? Building a morning routine you love. Yes. Zest for life. Yes. Yes. These are all things that we and our community and our layered learning and our everything can provide. So make sure that when you are talking about all these things and you're talking to people and you're creating content, the reason why I'm here, right? Like in this point in this conversation is because these are all, these are all things that you can create content around, like depending on how well, you know, and understand your ideal client, you might be able to easily brainstorm dozens of problems right now and solutions and turn that list into content to create 
things to talk about, quotes to research around, right? People love that positive, uplifting, supportive mindset. If you can then research quotes about X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, you can actually give them inspiration about the things that we're intentionally going to be talking about, inspiring people in those areas. You can get into conversation, you can go live about it. You can do all different types of things, but until you identify these things, then you might feel scatterbrained and you might feel like you don't know what to post about or what to talk about. So now that you have like a really powerful list of ideas for content that you create to engage your audience and move them towards wanting to go into business with you, because they're going to realize, wow, this person and I have a lot in common. These quotes are about the challenges or the things that I love. They might not even think it's those things. These are like psychological things that we're just showing up in their life. And they're like, wow, this person just knows me and they, they say the things that inspire me and they like the same things. And the cool thing is the algorithm, every time they like your post about planting or about yoga or about this, they're going to, the algorithm is going to be like, oh, this person likes yoga and planting and positive mindset. Let me show them more of Samantha's stuff. Like that's how it goes when you show up on social media, right? That is how it goes. And th listen, real life is the same way. The universe works in the same way. I don't care what you believe in. It doesn't even matter. Not, I don't care, but like, regardless of what you're believing in, it doesn't matter because there's always going to be a, a philosophy of what you give comes back tenfold. What you put out is going, you're going to receive, right? Do good, get good, be good, attract good, less product, more of you more often. Yes. So that philosophy applies across the board is the message I'm trying to relay here. Uh, these are going to be the what you want to focus on solving in your marketing and your campaigns with your offers, with your challenges, with your invites, with your conversations. Okay. Um, so remember as entrepreneurs, we are in business to solve people's problems, not to create pressure on ourselves. Like, Oh my God, we have to solve everything. But like, we get to shine that light, like, like Jarek Robbins said. So that's really important. And then of course, I'm not going to go into this now, but I just wrote the bullet point, build your audience. Like our job is to also create content daily around these things. So we're building our audience. We're getting more people, more eyes on us, more people watching and liking the things that we're putting out. And if we stay in alignment with the same topics, that is also considered a niche, but don't overthink it. Just saying like, literally that is going to be you. Your niche is you, your brand is you. It's just the things that you love and there's no right or wrong. All right. So uh, the next part to attracting and identifying your ideal client and avatar is building relationships with them, uncovering their challenges with them by asking questions and providing the solution. Cause it's like, we're attracting, but we can also intentionally connect. Um, and for majority of them, majority of people just need to build trust with you. And part of that trust is going to be built through relatability because your page is going to be super relatable to them. Your life is going to be super relatable to them because you're just being you and they're on your page because they like the things that you like. I know it's crazy. There's other weirdos out there that like the same things that you do too. I had to come to terms with it. <laughs> like, you know, in the past, I was like, nobody's going to like the same stuff that I do. Like I was, I'm very introverted in a nutshell. Like I don't leave the house a lot. I clearly, I garden, I cook my own food. I make my own stevia. I do go to yoga. We don't talk a lot there. You know, I just, I, I'm that guy that I'm that person who's just hard shell to crack, but when I did crack that shell and realize that there are other people that like the things that I like and actually see value in what I have to say, like that took me a long time to realize years, but like there's people out there. So just don't ever hold yourself back because you feel that there's people out there that there's nobody out there that is like you because there is, I promise. And the more you step into being authentically you, <gasps> Oh, it's Thursday. I thought I just heard my garbage truck and I didn't take my garbage out. And that is what it looks like when Samantha has a mini heart attack. Um, <laughs> anyways, so over time, you'll start to uh, create this influence. All right. It's amazing. Uh, it People, you'll create this bond with people that you didn't even know existed. And they'll look at you like a leader. You are leading them. You are guiding them. All right. So it's, it's all about helping people solve their problems and not really falling into 
uh, it has to be done one way. All right, so I'm gonna get back into this list making, okay? Cause I can talk forever. Um, but I want you guys to start another list and feel free to drop it in the comments at the exact same time as you are writing it with a pen and pencil. I know that's possible somehow, <laughs> but um, all right. First thing, I want you guys to make a list of your distractions. Make a list of your distractions. And actually, I am pretty sure I have mine here too. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to read mine to you guys and see if it's helpful. Now, I'm going to use this as an example. This was my list for me finding my ideal nanny. And I want you guys to know this list that I'm about to read to you is a list that you can utilize for any aspect of life on when you are looking for something. I was looking for my ideal nanny, so I followed this process. This is a process I'm going to teach you guys. I learned it from two of my mentors, life-changing people that I, they're my business mentors, and um, I literally use this for all aspects of my life. So we're going to use this right now to identify uh, our ideal clients, our ideal promoters, our ideal customers, um, and what we need to do to connect with them. So the first thing is make your list of distractions. Uh, for me, I wrote down text notifications, Facebook notifications, messenger notifications, and my schedule not being organized or prioritized properly. So since this list, um, I actually turned off majority. I don't have text notifications anymore. And just for my family, I turned off my messenger. I don't want to see my Facebook going off all day. I'm intentional about the time I take when I'm connecting with these people. Um, my schedule is organized. I'm going to break that down and explain it to you guys and how and why this has helped me and how this is going to help you identify and connect with your promoters, new clients, new business partners as well. So um, someone's on social media, I hate being sucked into my time. Yes, I get that. Definitely. There's definitely a layer of needing to identify when you're scrolling too long, like you, the pineapple or something like wrist band snaps or something to snap you out of it. Uh, I, identifying what your, your real passion and purpose is, is my best opinion. Like, is this serving what I'm creating right now? Asking yourself that set an alarm for every hour of the day is what I'm doing right now, serving what I'm creating that, that I did that for a very long time. Um, I still have it, just not every hour. TV, my son, my job, social media. Well, your son isn't your distraction. Your son should be your purpose. Don't let your purpose be your distraction. Your son should be your purpose. Uh, set intentions and stick to them. Batch that stuff. Less product, more of you. Okay, there we are. Yes. Okay, so identify your distractions. Very important. Identify the things that are holding you back. Like the stories that you're telling yourself, identify the things that are holding your back, holding you back, whether they're true or not, we will not claim that. But what are the things that are holding you back from bringing on your ideal client? And what are the things that are holding you back from bringing on your ideal promoter? I always look at those two things as different. Like anytime I do stuff like this, I write, <laughs> it's like different mindset, different language, different things, different everything. So what are the things holding you back from getting your, from customers? What are the things holding you back from getting promoters? Someone said money schedule. Okay. So the next question is make a list of oh, the things that are holding you back. I, I skipped that already. All right. So number three, number one is make your list of distractions. Number two is make your list of things that are holding you back. Number three is make a list of what attributes your ideal promoter has. They don't have to have all of them to be right or wrong. Remember, we talked about that. These are just things like super open to coaching, like loves to learn. Excited. Communicates. It doesn't even have to be well, like I'm, I'll take a communicator who's like willing to learn how to communicate better versus like a non-communicator. <laughs> I love communication, you know, um, excited, uh, 
shows up just the, like shows up that's like likes to grow looking to grow driven results driven challenge driven community driven heartfelt leads with the heart genuinely cares about people i will not work with anyone who does not genuinely care about people friendly positive tech savvy have a general knowledge of marketing self-motivated can work independently there we go yes always willing to learn yes that's definitely you Terika. <laughs> great with troubleshooting okay so these are great ideas ambition has time oh yes time like I, well, I'm not going to lie. I had no time when I started this, but like, I love it when people have time. I love it when people have time. Like that is on my list too. like have time or not even that make time. Oh, ooh, that was a satisfying shift. When people that are willing to make time, self-starter, team player, positive, don't make excuses, take ownership. Yeah, there's no right or wrong. There's you, there's no need for excuses here. We're like all we're learning and growing together. That's where the communication comes in, man. Just communicate. Be like, oh man, I messed up or darn, I should have done it different. Better luck next time. It's all good in the neighborhood. All right, so um, those are great attributes. And same thing with your customers, list those things for yourself. All right, next. Um, okay. Okay. Ready? This is like a little project, a little assignment. I want you to connect with at least two people that you know who have successfully currently, current credibility that are like recruiting promoters who have in the last six months recruited at least a couple, two promoters. You know, I want you to connect with those people whether it's your upline, your business partner, anybody, <laughs> hello. Uh, I want you to connect with those people and ask them, like, what did you do that worked? What are you doing that is working? I want you to ask them the questions, ask them, just talk to them. And through that conversation, I want you to also identify what you like about that process, what you're like into, what you're digging, what you're vibing with, or identify like what you would do differently based on what works for you, right? And I want you to like note those things during the conversation. So you know, when the conversation's over and you look back at your notes, you're like, okay, this person did this and they said this and they shared this video and they did this. But what I would do a little differently based on maybe my language or my audience or whatever is this, 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 or this type of note taking. Okay. So um, I think that's really important. I did it again. This is, I did this for my nanny and I had to call a couple people. I'm like, yo, I know you have, I mean, I literally, I asked Lauren was one of them. Cause I know she's always like my nannies, my nannies. I'm like, I know a girl that has nannies, you know? So I was like, Hey, what do you have your nannies do? What are some of the jobs that you have your nannies? What are some of the questions you asked when you were interviewing your nannies? Like these were, this is how I, I literally use the same process for that. Um, <laughs> That's so funny, <laughs> Derica. So identifying, like digging into people's brains, I would rather you follow the person that's already doing what's working than just trying to figure everything out on your own. And you can actually come up with your game plan. So through those talking to those two or more people, you're going to be able to number five, find what you like and didn't like about their process. Number six, you're then going to set your measurable goal on you are going to get at least one promoter at least the words at least is important or a minimum of is important you are going to get at least one promoter on or before april 1st or march 31st so you can do it this month you know what i mean at least one promoter or one or more promoter on or before March 31st. 
Not hard, just one per motor. It's just one. Okay, one. And then I want you to identify the activities that it's going to take to get you there, right? Inviting to calls, inviting to the guest calls, having one-on-one -on -one conversations intentionally about the business. How many one-on-one -on -one conversations are you going to have per day leading up to March 31st in order for you to get at least one promoter on or before March 31st? How many people are you going to send the replay to those guest calls to? How many people are you going to connect with that are getting free product right now and say, hey, FYI, you're already getting free product or you've already referred one person. Did you know that you can earn extra additional income and free product by sharing? Can you jump on this call and listen or something? You know what I mean? How many people... So come up with that game plan. That's number seven is identifying the activities that you are going or that are going to get you there. Inviting to calls, having one-on-one -on -one convos, sending the replay, helping people share the product to get it to free to, you know, where I'm going with that. Okay. And then number eight, number eight, I wrote number seven twice. Number eight is set the time blocks on your calendar. Every single day, every single day, every single day, you have at least 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes. If anything, multiple 30 minutes. My ideal work session is 90 minutes. That's when your brain can function at the highest peak performance without burnout. And after 90 minutes, it starts to 30 minutes to get into flow, 60 minutes of peak performance uh, to be exact. But I do 90 minute jam sessions and I just roll it out with intention. Like I either turn on music if I'm in that mode, sometimes music is distracting for me and sometimes I need it, but I set an alarm and I turn off my notifications and I don't do anything besides what my intention is. So I challenge you set these time blocks on your calendar based around your schedule, whether you need to wake up a little earlier, go to your car on lunch break, Go to the bathroom and tell people that you have to poop, but you're actually in there for 15 minutes and you are on your phone. Tell them that your tummy hurts and you'll be back. It'll be fine. They'll be fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Okay. Yes. I said the P word. All right. Just find the time. Make the time. Make the time. Ah, shifted that twice. Make the time. If you're here and you're still listening to this, you're serious about building your business. Make the time every day to invite people to the promoter conversation. If you are uncomfortable and you are not doing this for at least 30 minutes per day, no, I'll even say 15. If you are not doing this for at least 15 minutes per day, I want you to message the person that you're working with right now and say, I have a confession to make. I have not been talking about the promoter opportunity, but it's fine because I listened to this call and I'm super fired up. And starting today, I am talking about the promoter opportunity every single day for at least X amount of minutes per day. And leading up to March 31st, I am going to bring on at least one promoter on or before March 31st. Cultivate your language, say it right, get it right, get it tight, do all the things, set your mindset, set your plan. It is March 23rd right now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight and a half days, okay, including today is the half day to get one promoter. Okay, if this was a full time job and I was your manager and I was gonna fire you if you didn't get this one promoted, no, I'm just kidding. But seriously, I told myself that I'm like, I have to get at least one. Like, I right now did not feel good this month, was super sick with my health challenges like the first two weeks. And I have two promoters right now, and there is no way in heck I am not about to be on that recruiting round table. So I need to get three by the end of the month, and you better believe. My time blocks are going to be real intentional between yoga and pre-gardening season. I am going to be recruiting promoters with like, I don't even care how many customers I get this month at this point. I'm really focusing on getting some new business partners on because that's just what my focus is. So I want you guys, I hope you guys um, 
or actually write down number eight, set time blocks. Oh my gosh, I didn't number this one. So it didn't even get said, even though it was there. I just looked right by it. Number nine, structure and prioritize your to-do list because you can put it on your calendar, but those activities that you identified, you need to prioritize them and structure them into this time block. So like you identified the activities and you made the time block and now you gotta like make them have babies together. Okay, make them produce. <laughs> Put the activities in the time block. Say, okay, in this 30 minute time block for 10 minutes straight, I am inviting with this language. And for 10 minutes straight, I am reaching out to all of my free product customers. And for 10 minutes straight, I am whatever. I'm going live and then I'm responding to the live people. I searched through my Facebook's messenger and I typed the word promoter. I typed in my shop keto.com slash promoter. And it like showed me everyone I had sent that link to. I was like, Oh, this is kind of fancy. I looked, I searched the word business. I sent them things like you can create these little mini things to plug into your time blocks and your schedule and all the things. And this is how you attract and magnetize and get your ideal clients and your ideal promoters. And they're all going to come to you as long as you just continue to do this over and over, not just till March 31st, right? Like this is just right now, but I want you to keep doing it. And the more that you like follow a social media strategy of just sharing yourself every single day, the things that you love, um, I don't know if you follow 421, if you don't know what that is, ask the person you're working with for like the social media 421 training. And if they don't know, be like, ask Samantha, she'll send it to you and then I'll send it to them. Okay. I love you all. Was this helpful? Drop a 555 in the chat. If this was helpful, just so I can see, I always think Ethan is on, but he's not with his picture. Cause that picture is perfect. It looks like you're really watching. It looks like you're there. <laughs> Follow up is fire. Yes. Follow up is everything. I follow up. I follow up with people for months and years and days and all the things people come on board. Timing is everything. Timing is everything. Keisha said that she was in the other day. I did a call with her. She listened. Somebody invited her, I guess, whoever invited her, Jody, maybe, or Katrina or someone for two years before she was like, okay, so just know that like, if they show interest, talk to them. It's never too late. Keep following up. Five, 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 five. Ha ha driving. It's fine. It doesn't look like you're driving. All right. I love you guys. And I will get this recording to Dustin in some way, shape or form. I love you. Goodbye.